I'm using the newest release and I've gone ahead and cut out um, the pieces. And I am doing something different because I have popped up the front on two layers of Alta New foam tape, the, the uh, low profile. And I am going to fashion a, a knob using a brad and the little bits of hardware which I have cut out in gold and so I, I will go ahead and do that I'm going to color this this um, impress these impressions in I don't know if you can see those they're very pretty though I'm going to color them in with pencils I've got gold blue and red and uh, so I will go ahead and do that off screen and I will be right back. One thing I want to point out too is that I reinforced the hinge because it, it's very delicate just the way it cuts out and it breaks off very easily. So I reinforced it with um, some of the extra cardstock that was left over from cutting out the piece. Okay, so it's colored and tape is on the back. Got the hardware on. I pre-punched a hole in my attempt to try and center it. It didn't really work out too well, but so I have my little mini punch. I don't know if you can see that. It's very mini. And um, I I'm just going to try and line this up as best as I can. And in here is going to be my brad for my knob. So I'm not going to pull that all the way tight because I'm going to wrap it and have it be knobby. And um, you, you can see I'm well, you can see I'm going to leave it out a bit so that I can wrap it. So what I'm doing is I have a very thin strip of some gold paper. It's kind of a cross between cardstock and paper. And I am wrapping it around here and gluing it as I go. And that is going to help make part of the knob. So I'll continue this off screen and come back when I'm when I've completed it. I've fitted the little locking mechanism and it works perfectly. I put it I ended up putting a hinge um, a a piece of um, reinforcement on the back of the hinge, I should say. And uh, I run a mat and I'm going to mount that right now. Got the tape on here and it's going to look something like this. And then I will stamp out some sentiments and be right back. So I removed the hinge uh, because it was not doing well for opening the flap. So I glued a piece of this color on, mistakenly thinking that I had this color. At any rate, I didn't get it on straight, so I had to trim it off, and uh, that's why I got a little messed up here. But it doesn't show from the front, so I think it's okay. And... Um, Just we'll smooth this down a little bit. You know we don't throw uh, we don't throw out our 
our cards because we make a mistake. We, we just try to clean it up and that's the best that's gonna get for cleaning up. And um, so it got a little smashed when I was trying to clean it up. So there's that. Now I have my insert, um, which I will put in here. Of course, I will address it. So the sentiment will go inside. Maybe I'll put one on the outside also. So I'll take a look at these and be right back. So here's my postcard so far, and I ended up using the um, the red greetery love stamp, which I really liked most. And so um, I just stamped from the honeybee set um, the um, some of the pieces that I liked, and um, and I just took a gray pencil and drew these lines in. Since I I didn't use the postcard die and impress this because I wanted to use the stamp. So now on the back side, and I used you know these stamps to decorate the back side. Okay, well I messed up the postmark um, because I didn't realize that I had stamped onto my acetate sheet and then <laughs> stamped that down onto my card. But that's okay because it has a little more authenticity, I think. So now I'm going to put a message on the back. Well, so in the end, I just decided to keep it simple and I just stamped, be my Valentine, lots of love. And I signed it myself. So I'll be giving this to my husband. So I will uh, address it to him in some playful manner and I'll color in this image. Okay, I chose my sentiments from the mailbox memos and um, for uh, the for this one, I chose special delivery, and then each card on the inside will have its own little message. And for the card proper, I chose oh happy day, and I had to do a little surgery on that. And here are the two completed cards, if you will. Well, one one is a lunch bag tag, and this is what I started out with. And uh, I made cards for each of my son's classmates and his teacher as well. And this is the greeting card proper. And I think they came out pretty nice. So um, it was a lot of fun making them, and it was very easy, actually. So I just used a couple layers of foam tape to pop these up and a, a little brad for a knob. And that was it. So I hope you enjoyed the videos, the video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.